Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am going to be kitting up the Koi Garden that I got from Diamond Dots and if you want to see the unboxing of that I will put a link up here in the cards so that you can click on that and I am going to start kitting up. Because this is Diamond Dots and they use their own code system they have the numbers here that are on the canvas, which is this one, two, three, whatever. And then they have their diamond dots number, which are these four numbers afterwards. And because they do their own system and because I am not going to be likely saving these afterwards because of their word system, I don't know if it's going to be worth it to me to go through and figure out, confirm all the DMC and see if I want to save them or not. We'll see. Um, I do have some ABs in this kit, um, and I'll talk about that when I get to them. Anyway, so I'm going to use my bottle storage to kit them up, and I've got 23 colors. I have already put the numbers on my stickers, simply because since this is diamond dots, and like I said, the DMC numbers are not on there, I'm just going to be going by the numbers on the bags. That is the number that's on the canvas as well. So I'm just gonna be using those. So I will be just using that simple system to put them in order. And I'm just pulling out a bunch of the bottles now so that I can put them in the containers as I start to kit them up. And I already see one that has leftover drills from the last kit that I did. Come on, get out of there. Okay, so this is going to be number one, or A1, as they say on the canvas, so I'm just going to stick my little round sticker on the top. A1, this little gray boat is the one that came with the canvas, so I'm going to be using that one. Ooh, it looks like these might have some static. We'll see how jumpy they get. Hopefully they're not too terrible. Ugh. Last time I, oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to have to go get some of the dryer sheets because that is just Mexican jumping bean insane. Okay. If they are all like this, I may abandon this kidding up because there will be far too many curse words coming out of my mouth for me to be able to put this on YouTube. Um, oh my goodness, that's crazy. They're still jumping out. Um, yeah, that's not going to be fun. I went through this a little while ago with a kit that was, I think it was one of my mystery diamond paintings. And oh my goodness, it was almost not worth the hassle. They're still jumping out. Okay, so I may go get some dryer sheets just to kind of, oh, I missed one see if I can oh I don't have to go get them ha huh, thank you s passed me there are some right here because the last time that I kitted up something like this they were freaking insane and so I <sighs> saved some of the cut up dryer sheets yay me oh I missed another one and I think some of them jumped off of here onto the floor, but I'm not going to go chasing after those. Although I will have to vacuum in here later. Okay, let's see if number two goes quite as badly. Please let it not go quite as badly because that's insane. All right, it doesn't look like they have static as bad. Let's find out, shall we? 
I'm gonna switch over to this little bigger tray. Oh, you know what? I might try just dumping them in the. Is that going a little bit better? They might have a little bit of static, but that one was not nearly as bad as the last one. Just lost two there. Okay. So that was number two. Let's do number three. Oh my goodness, I don't think there's anything that makes me any crazier than static. All right, this looks like it might have some. Yikes. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try just kind of pouring it in there and see if that goes a little bit better. Come on. Massage the bag a little bit. Oh, one jumped into my finger. Okay. Those are jumping around a little bit. So let me just dump the rest of them in the tray. Hopefully in the tray. Let's see. I thought I saw one go flying in there. There's one. Oh my goodness. Okay, they're just gonna go flying everywhere. Oh, are these the other color? Maybe not. Ugh. Okay, let me shove that down in there. Let's see if that helps any. Come on. Get down in there. Ugh, I hope they are not all like this. Okay, is that all of them? Yikes. All right. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll just be the red ones that are like that. These have static. Ugh. I may just start shoving the dryer sheet in there with them before I start trying to pour them. Let's see if that does helps. help? I don't know. Okay, probably not helped by me shaking them, but this is going to get old really fast. Okay, let me pick up these jumpers. Pick up my dryer sheet so I can shove it in there. Oh my goodness, that's just crazy. Look at that. Look how much they're sticking, even with the dryer sheets in there. Ugh. I may have to go hunt up some more dryer sheets. I don't know if I have 23 little pieces cut. In fact, I'm pretty sure I don't, but we'll see. Oh no. At least, I guess, small favors. There are not a ton of these. I mean, there's 23 colors, so it's not like there's none, but. Maybe not all of them will be horrible static. Ugh, I wish I knew why some seem so prone to it and some don't. Is it the way they get packaged? I've seen a bunch of things that say it's environmental factors, but like, really? Did y'all just jump down in the... Okay, I'm just gonna try and massage them in there a little bit with my finger, see if that helps with them not jumping around quite so much. Come on. Come on. Oh. 
This is crazy. Let me put a dryer sheet in there. Kind of push it down. Let's see how many of these I can get in there. Come on. Jump off. Into the... Come on. Ugh. I wonder how many of these I'm going to find on the floor when I'm finished. It's already way too many. Number six. I'm kind of scared to open these now. I think I'll stick a dryer sheet in here just ahead of time to be safe, since this one seems to be pretty full. Maybe I can keep them from jumping everywhere, at least a little bit, or not. I'll see now my dryer sheet is tucked in there, and they can't settle down into the bottom. There we go. I don't think I'm going to get all of these to fit in one bag anyway or one bottle. So I think I will dump the rest of these into the tray. That's a little piece of slag anyway. There's those. Okay, that's number six. I'm gonna, just going to get an empty bottle. Let me shove the dryer sheet in there. Again, I'm just going to try and massage them in there with my finger. Sometimes getting a little bit of the oils from your fingers on there will help break down some of the static. Yeah, I'm going to be absolutely bananas by the time I get done with this. And I'm definitely going to have to vacuum in here. Jeez Louise. Okay, number seven. Yep, those are full of static. So I'm going to cut this off. Then I'm going to shove a dryer sheet piece in there. Does that help any? Maybe. Helps some. There's still some static in there. I can tell by the way they're sticking together. So let me put that back in there. And shake it up some more. to get all of those in one bottle if I can get them all out of the bag and there went my stickers on the floor Ugh. come on come on I feel like I'm talking to a horse or a dog or something come on drills get in there I'm just going to shove that dryer sheet down in there because why not? One moment while I retrieve my stickers. Okay. Ready for number eight. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm not even halfway through and I'm already irritated. And I'm about to run out of little dryer sheet pieces. Okay. 
Come on, get in there. Gosh, this is kind of crazy. I haven't... The last time, like I said, I had one like this. It was a mystery diamond painting. And, oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're moving into purple territory. So crossing my fingers that maybe purple is not quite a staticky. And these are actually AB drills. And I happen to purchase this same color unknowingly. I bought these at Michael's, the kit I bought at Joann's. So, but this is number 5010 and this is number 5010, so I know they match. So if I get ambitious, I might put extra AB drills in with the ones the kit gave me and add some additional ones in there from Extra Sparkle. Now, those were so nice and well behaved. Let's see if the rest of them manage to stay that way. Okay, what number is this? This is number 10. So put number 10 on there. Nope, pretty sure these look pretty staticky. So, find a dryer sheet. Stick that in there. I think the last time that I did this, I even went so far as to go just get a plain dryer sheet and I would dump them out into the dryer sheet. And that would hopefully get rid of the static enough to let me be able to pour them into the bottles where they belong. I know if some of these, the dryer sheets have been used enough, this anti-static is not as efficient as it was as what's the word I'm looking for fresh because these are still annoying so note to self AB drills seem to behave much better all right this is number 11 These seem to have quite a bit of static as well. Let's just try pouring these out and see how we do. Oh, that one disappeared behind the... That one went way back there. Okay, so let's rub it over does that help let's see that seemed to help some come on get in there they're still sticking to my fingers Ugh. Okay, just try and push them down in there nicely if I can. Okay, there's number 11. Am I halfway through? Not yet. Number 12, okay. There's not very many drills in this package, so hopefully that will be a help rather than a hindrance. Let's just dump all these out because they do look staticky. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's one sticking on my finger. All right, let go of me. Okay, again, I'm just going to try and rub some of these with the dryer sheet. 
Clearly it's not working exactly the way that I want because they're still jumping everywhere. So let's just shove that in there. How many of them can we get to go in without jumping? Okay. That was number 12. Number 13. I'm on the second row of drills, so let's see. Oh, it's another purple one, and that one's got plenty of static in it. I can see it sticking to the sides already. So I'm going to stick a piece in there. Shake it up a little bit. See if I can calm them down enough to pour them into the tray. I don't even mind if they jump around in the tray a little bit, as long as they don't go flying all over the place. Those, that first one that I opened when it went flying towards me, that's kind of crazy. I don't think even the bad one that I had last time was quite that bad. And I've seen all kinds of remedies. I've seen people say to wash them. I've seen people say to put them in the freezer. Again, because the temperature, ambient temperature has something to do with the amount of static. I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to use dryer sheets and be done with it because it's not worth the hassle. I bought this kit so that I could do a diamond painting, not so that I could sit around and deal with static all day long. If I wanted to take the time to wash my drills, I wouldn't have diamond painting as a hobby. Can you imagine if you had to wash your drills for every diamond painting? That would be insane. I mean, I don't know if I would keep diamond painting if that was something I had to do. It's a good thing I don't run into kits like this very often. Because if I had static like this with all of my kits, oh my goodness. Yeah, I would definitely be... Um, not diamond painting like I do, that's for sure. All right, I forgot to put the number on this one. So this is number 15. So there's number 15. And this did have some static, so we'll see. I'll try and drill, drop some of them in there first. Okay, those weren't too bad. Let's see how the rest of them behave. Okay, so there's a little bit of static in these, but not like some of these other colors. So, I've just got a couple of pieces of dryer sheet left, so I'm going to hang on to those for one that's really bad. See if I can hang on there and make it all the way through to the end. Could go back and look at some of these. Have these settled down? Maybe I can take the dryer sheet out of that one. Those seem to have settled down quite a bit. So we'll take the dryer sheet out of that one. And what about this one? This one didn't have a dryer sheet in it, so those were fine. This red one still seems a little staticky. They're still sticking, so. All right, number 16. These don't look terrible, so let's see how these do. I say that and they're going to jump everywhere. That's my pouring skills and not the drills. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a little bit of static, but not like the other ones. All right, let me pick up the jumpers. I keep thinking maybe picking them up with my hands like that, they will get some of my oil, the oil from my fingers on them and they won't be quite as staticky. Come on, get in there. Okay. Ugh. You're going in there. Okay, there's 16. And you can see, look at these clinging to the top of the lid. 
shake them a little bit and try and get the dryer sheet to <laughs> the dryer sheet is stuck to the lid. Wow. Okay. So what number am I on? Number 17. Number 17. These don't look like they have bad static in them. Let's see. Fold that down so we pour. Oh, those weren't nearly as bad as some of the other ones. Okay. Sticking to the bag, that last little one, but not terrible. Okay. Number 18. Oh, I'm getting close, getting close. These look like they have a little bit of static in them. Let's see. Pour them in. Come on. a little bit. Got some stragglers in here that don't want to come out. Come on. Got to massage the bag a little bit. Did I get all of them? Oh, there's one more in there. Okay. That was all of those. Okay. There's number 18. Number 19. I wonder if the hue of the drill, like the the color of the drill has anything to do with how much static they get. These seem quite staticky, unfortunately. So let me stick this in there. Or not. Okay, shake those around a little bit, see if I can get some of the static out. I'm gonna stick this in there. Let's see how well they pour after that. Okay, still some static, but not terrible amounts. They just don't want to come out of the bag. Okay, come on. I hate fighting with these like this when they get stuck in the bag like that because I think, ugh, I probably have extras. Do I really need to fight with these last three drills? Especially with this one, since I'm not going to be keeping these anyway, probably. But, God, you never know. The one time I don't do that, I'll be short or something. I really hope not. Oh, stuck to my fingers. Okay, there's number 19. Number 20. Yep, those look like they have some static in them, too. So, we've got two dryer sheets left already cut. Put that one in there. Put that down in the bottle. Let's see how neatly I can get these to pour. Come on. Nope, got a few jumpers. Come on. Get out of there. All right. Put this last one out. Jump all the way over there. Oops, there's a couple more. Come on. Get in there. Okay, gosh, this is a lesson in patience, isn't it? Okay, I think I can take that one out if I need it. What about number five? Does that one settle down? Nope, they're still jumping around a little bit. About number six. Same. Okay. 21. Let's see. 
These don't look terrible, but we'll see. How many times have I said that already? Come on, get out. Oh my goodness, come on. Okay. Several jumpers. So I'm going to shove that down in there. Let's see how many of these I can get to just fall in without sticking to my finger. Okay, two more colors. Have any of these settled down? That one's got some stuck in the top. Take that out now. Okay, so I've got at least enough little dryer sheet pieces to get me through the end of these, because that's number 22. This one didn't look too bad. They kind of all fell to the bottom. Let's see how that goes. Wow. That one was amazingly fine. Good. And my last color, number 23. These look like black, maybe. It does look like there's some static in there, but there are not very many drills. So hopefully they will just go in there nicely. Come on, stragglers. Oh, yes. The last couple of ones were good, so yay. Okay, that seems to settle down. Those are fine. Those seem fine. Okay, I've got one piece of dryer sheet left. Oh, there was two a straggler in there. Okay, so I'm going to put these back in the top of my kit. I've got everything kitted up now. I have all of the drills put into the bottles that I'm going to be using. I am going to use this tray and this wax because that is what came with the, sorry, bump the camera use this tray and this wax since that is what came with the kit and like i said i have extra of the um ab drills so i will probably put some extra of those and i'm going to stick these in my storage kit as well so you can see everything is kitted up here you can see some of the diamonds are still sticking to the top because of all the static so that is all kitted up and ready to go. Pull those out so that will shut. Those are all ready to go. And let me grab the canvas really quick, just so you can see what it is. Again, it's called Koi Garden and it is a partial. And I can't fit the whole thing on the screen, but I'll try to lay it so you can see as much as possible. So um, I thought it was a full drill when I bought it. It's not, which is fine. Um, it is just the fish and then the lily pads and the flowers that get drilled. All of the rocks are just printed on here. So it is, let me see, it is a 40 by 60 canvas. However, the drill size, they give you the design size is 32 by 52 and you can see it's pretty clear again i've got the 23 colors you can see the um, schematic here off to the side the key so i am going to get started i can't wait to see how some of my ab drills are going to look and 
I will be posting on my Instagram. I try to post updates uh, as I'm working on kits. So if you want to see work in progress pictures as well as videos, you can check out my Instagram. All my social links you can find in the description below. Uh, as always, don't forget to do all the things. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, thank you for watching.